and welcome to a haul. I went to MAC yesterday and I went a little crazy, mostly because I had to get some things for my wedding. I need to test them out and, and, and be in, I, I don't need to be late. I have to test them out so I know the things work so I can get some other stuff if this doesn't work. This, this, this doesn't work for me. So I just uh, bought some things, some things are not for the wedding, something I just want for a long time, so I will just want to show you. I wrote on Instagram if you wanted to see a haul and some of you said yes, some of you like the pictures, so let's just get into it. I got a small bag here, but uh, there's a lot of stuff in here, so let's just start from the top. I'll just reach down and get the first thing. The first thing I got was a highlighter. This is from the Mineralize, Mineralize Skin Finish. Uh, line and the packaging looks like this. I really like the new packaging compared to the old packaging. This is the old, this is the new, this is the soft and gentle highlight. But this is the light skipade, light skipade highlight. I really wanted this for a long time because this is perfect for me in the winter time. The soft and gentle is a little more for the summer. You can see it's a lot more bronzy, but this is more light. <laughs> There's a lot of blue tones and purple, like peach tones and yellow tones in this and it just gives a beautiful highlight. You can see it's very very white uh, but it just gives a beautiful sheen so if you're as fair as me this will look beautiful on you. I think this is a gorgeous highlight. I'm looking forward to try this. Let's just try it on now. I'll use my Real Techniques setting brush. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks pretty. I really like that it's not super frosty, that it's not like shimmer on my face. It just seems like I'm glowing from within and that's what I really love. I like that dewy look. I don't like that sparkling face. I, I really don't enjoy that. So this highlight I like. This is Light Scapade. Then I got a blush and it's from the Pro Long Wear. Line and these blushes are supposed to last uh, longer than the normal blushes. I asked her at the store and she couldn't say how much longer, so I don't know. But she said it was kind of a lot longer time, so I'm hoping that this will last me a long time. And this is the blush I'm thinking about wearing for my wedding, and this is the a cool toned pink. Uh, but it's not super pink. It reminds me a lot of Melba, but it's a yeah, it's a little more pink than peach and it's a beautiful Settle blush. I don't know if you can see it But it's not very out there. It's just gives the cheeks a, a beautiful Natural color it just it will look like it's my own cheeks uh, Pinkness coming through so I really like that for the wedding and this blush is also beautiful for summertime So um, I will definitely try this out to see how long it lasts Then I got a pro long wear eyeliner and, and that's because I want something that I can smudge on my upper lash line uh, for also for the wedding and this is just a really really dark brown and it's super super creamy so I can just put it on my lash line and then just smudge it out with some, uh, some eyeshadow and I didn't get it in black because I think brown will look more soft and less harsh and less dramatic for the wedding so but I got it in a really dark brown so it's it will just darken out the lash line and this is super creamy this is called Rich Experience then I got three eyeshadows and these were also for the wedding. Um, I really needed some uh, eyeshadow to put on the lid because I don't want a very very shimmery lid. I don't want to use like Shimmer Shimmer or Stila's Kitten or something like that. I think that's too shimmery for me on, on my wedding day. I don't want to look like a greasy monster. The first eyeshadow I got is Grain and this is a beautiful very light brown peachy kind of color and this is beautiful to put all over the lid. I don't know if you can even see that 
but it just has a very light sheen to it. There's no shimmer in this bad boy whatsoever, but it just gives a sheen to the lid. And I really like that for the wedding. Very natural uh, lid, and I think this will give it to me. And then I also got Naked Lunch, and there's a, it's very, very similar to green. It's a little bit... It's actually a little bit darker, which is kind of weird to me. I've always heard this was a pretty light color. But Naked Lunch is a little more dark, peachy brown. Um, and it's a little more shimmery. It's a little more pink. I don't know if you can see that. I have a lot going on on my hand now. But it's this one on top here. And it's a little more shimmery than the other one. There's no glitter, but it has more of a sheen to it. So this will just be in like the inner corner or just... Uh, I'll, I have to test them out to see which one I like the most, but this was Naked Lunch. The last eyeshadow I got was Embark and this is a beautiful uh, mid-tone brown. It's a little more warm than cold, um, but it's just... and it's matte, so it's really nice. You can see it's super pigmented and this I'm going to use for smudging that uh, lash line and darken the outer V a little bit more and uh, it's just a beautiful color for weddings also because it's really natural but you still need a little darker colors just to smoke out that outer V and this really brings life to the look so it doesn't look dull or, or lifeless so this one is really good to smudge out that liner I got before and it really matches with this eyeliner I got so these two are really good together then I got a brush and this is the brush everybody raves about it's a 217 brush and I really wanted this brush for a long time I have the Sigma one the E25 and I also have like a travel size of the 217 brush but now that I have them side by side my, two seven, my two 217 brushes obviously you can see that it's this old one I have here is a lot smaller, that's pretty clear. But I can also feel now that this real one, the, the big size, is a lot more stiff in the bristles than this one. This is more soft and it's actually pretty difficult to use this travel size because it's way too soft to blend everything out. I think this one, I have to clean it before I use it, but I think this will give me a more precise blend uh, compared to this one. This is a little more I don't know, too soft to be precise enough. So I think the quality is, is quite different on these two. The real one, the full size one, is handmade with goat hair. And this, I've heard that they, they just make it in a machine. So of course, this one is better quality and I'm really looking forward to try this brush to see what the fuss is about. I really like my Sigma E25, but I need to see if this one is really better. So I'm looking forward to use it. Last but not least, I got a lipstick. You know, I'm a lipstick hoarder. There's a lot of brown tone lipsticks that I really want. I wanted uh, Velvet Teddy, I wanted Taupe, I wanted Brave. Um, but they, I, I wanted Brave the most, but they didn't have that. And then I wanted this one, and this is called Faux, or Fox, I think it's Faux. And this is a beautiful pinky brown Kylie Jenner type of lipstick. It's really, really beautiful. It's this one here. It's a little more mauve than brown, I think. A little more pinky mauve, which I really like. You want to see it on? I'll just try it. I really love this color. I think it's super natural and super pretty for every day. This is a satin finish. So this was my haul. I hope you liked it and um, if you tried any of these products, please let me know and tell me if they're good. I'm really looking forward to try these. Do you want to see a wedding makeup tutorial? I'm really thinking about doing it like two or three times on camera just to test it out, just to do it a lot of times before the wedding. I know the wedding isn't until September, but I just want to try and film it to see which one. I could actually do three different makeup looks. And then you can tell me what you like the most, and then we'll see if I, I, I do that. <laughs> Please let me know what you think down below, and I'll, and we'll find out <laughs> what to do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.